crescent coming up. That's a beautiful sight, man. Got the two planets over the top of it. I don't know what that is. I would think that's probably Jupiter's looking at the size of it. I have to do a little research on that. That is a pretty sight there, though. There we go, guys. Hooked up on that guy. Hooked up. That dude slammed that sucker too. Put the slam on it. Oh, look at that. That's the motor. <laughs> That's the motor. Man, he's putting the pull on the thing, not to be no bigger than he is. Nice channel cat, though. Man, that's a nice channel. All right, let's try to get him on around here. Now we got him down here where we can do some damage on him now. Trying to wet us up good. He just put the pull on it, guy. <laughs> He's showing out, man. Pretty channel. Grab my net and get this guy. Oh, missed him. Can't see him in the sun right there. Like a big old male. There we go. We tricked him in the bag that time. Yep, that guy hit a piece of bluegill. I know, because that's all I got out there right now. Not a bad fish, so you can tell he's getting ready to spawn. You see them big old humps on his head? See his mouth starting to get darker and darker? Uh, Mark, I'd like to welcome you to Whisker Pig Fishing. Come along today as we, we go after these channel cats. That's our target for today at Lake Greenwood. We're going to see can we put a whipping on these guys. All right, my friend, we'll see you later. Yeah, we're gonna target these fish. We're fishing um, where these coves run up. They'll run up a little bit and then they flatten out in the back. This one just happens to be about uh, nine feet. Some of them are eight, some of them are five, some of them are 15. It's just where it starts to run up out of the deeper water and make this flat back here. These fish are starting to move up on these flats. The bait's back there and it's just so shallow, it's hard to fish for them back there without spooking them. Let's see what we can do it today. Got him hooked up, fellas. <laughs> yeah, we got this guy on. What I've been putting together here was some uh, channel cat tackle. This is a little light, light action bass rod. Got an old ambassador. I don't even know what it is. It's old. The drag ain't even got a star on it. And we're fishing minnows. Minnow under a float on a number one hook. It's just a straight shank hook. That sucker smacked it too, Jack. Yeah, we fishing this on a 15 pound line. Y'all think that's an old reel? Check out the drag. Well, if you ain't gonna pull none, when the drag goes, the reel handle spins. That's how old this thing is. Oh, look out. Don't get right there. I 
Ah, right, let me try to grab the net. Let's see, can we get this guy? Well, might get him, might not. He ain't wanting to give up. Yeah, he ain't no giant, but the bite's been off today for some reason. Yeah, I come out and fished about probably an hour and a half, two hours before it got light this morning. I had five or six runs on live brim fishing for these flatheads, and that was it. And we caught one little channel this morning, and they just ain't been doing it, man. They're just barely tapping on it. But this is small tackle and uh, medium-sized minnows. Y'all can see that sucker still hooked him in the corner of the mouth. Yep, there he is. Old big dog channel. <laughs> All right, friend, we thank you much, man. Well, if you just let go. All you gotta do is just let go. Yeah, I'll show y'all guys what I'm fishing with. I'm fishing about a three and a half inch weighted uh, cigar float. Split shot. Just like crappy fishing, we're fishing a uh, number one. It's a straight shank hook right here. And we're fishing medium sized minnows on it. Wind's blowing. We blowing up into a lay down over here got him <laughs> we're gonna load it back up send it back in there there we go guys did we get him yeah <laughs> no way It's a gar. <laughs> yeah. I thought when that sucker jumped, it was kind of suspect. <laughs> Y'all see what that is. One of them gar fish. That sucker got more teeth than you know what to do with it, but yeah. He'll put a hurting on you too. He touches you with them little needle teeth he's got and he will cut you like they ain't no tomorrow. Jump for me. We're gonna play you you just laying on your side, dude. Jump some more. I know that takes a little bit of energy. Let's have another jump. Come on, jump for me. Yeah, we trying to play this sucker till he quits. Ah, right, let's get him up in here. Yeah, not only has he got a lot of teeth, the sucker stinks, man. I don't even want to touch him. Yeah, getting this dude unhooked is uh, always interesting. Because he's just wanting to bite you, I'm telling you. If you ever hook one of these guys, remember, he only wants to bite you. Yeah, guys, I'm talking about this dude's got some teeth. Them little things will cut you like a saw blade. That's the only thing I know how to put it up against there. That is a, we call them long nose gar. Suckers absolutely edible. They people eat them, man. They're just so hard to clean. I ate some when I was a kid just to try them. they so hard to clean, though. They really ain't worth it. We're going to shoot him back in there. We don't thank you at all. We hope you never come again. We hope he never comes back. I hate to be like that to a fish, but uh, I hope he never comes back. <laughs> 
Yep, guys, my float's gone. Let's see where this thing's at here. Alright, we got him. Got him. I don't know what we got, but we got something. That looks like a spotted bass. And that's what it will be. I'll be one of them devastating spots. They trying to get rid of these things out of this lake. We're gonna throw them in the box right there. I'm gonna get rid of them, make some breakfast out of them in the morning with some scrambled eggs. That's some good stuff there. Yeah, y'all see what I'm doing, right? I had it out, I was about to try to eat lunch. He wasn't gonna let me have it. Man, that fish been eating three of fin shad. There's one floating right there. Right there. We're good guys right here. We got a big float leaving out this time. I'm gonna try to catch up with this guy. Got him. Got that dude. Oh, he's got my line. Got the other line over there. Uh oh. He's aiming for that post. <laughs> Yeah, this one right here is on, on some stink bait. Let's see if we get this guy. See, so can we get this dude? Got him. Yeah, this one came on Triple S cheese bait. It's Channel Cat Triple S cheese flavor. Yeah, you can see this fish is bleeding a little bit. I think it's all right. I'm gonna put him in the box up here and uh, let the aerator run on him about an hour and see if he's uh, if he's good. It's not a bad Channel Cat though. I come on that Triple S stink bait. Yeah, let's show you how I'm fishing this stuff. It's something hot. I'm not, uh, I'm not claiming to have a lot of knowledge about this. This is just something that uh, I was fishing these channel cat late, this late that got, it's got flatheads, but most of what you're gonna catch is channel cats. And you can see I got a number two treble hook on a little piece of pool noodle foam cut and I, uh, I just pulled a foam, the line through the foam. I just took a circle hook, stuck through it, caught it in the bar, pulled it back through that piece of foam, pulled it up here and tied it on. And to load this thing up, all you do is take it and stuff it down in this junk. Let's see, can we show you what to do with that? Get my lunch out of the way. <laughs> it don't never fail, that lunch thing. It never fails with that lunch thing. You just take this dude right here and stuff it down in here. Cover it up. Pull it out to the side. And all we're, all we're trying to do is just get a glob on there. I know some of y'all can do this a whole lot better than that, but bear with me. I'm trying to figure out how to make it work. And I had a split shot on that thing and he threw it off. I'm gonna dig one out and stick it back on there. If not, you uh, noodle will float up and I ain't what we want we're fishing this thing on that float I showed you how to hook up there with the downrigger clip how to build it there's a there's a video um, 
Well, you can go make that thing yourself. You don't really need a float this big for what we're doing right here. We're just fishing this thing in a tree. Throwing it over in a tree. We're going to sit here a few more minutes, figure, finish this lunch up, and probably going to make another move. May go drag a little bit. The, the anchor bite hadn't been so great this morning. Yeah, this is what we're fishing right here. You're going to need something to spread it on there. I think a wooden spoon works better. But I just got a little piece of pool noodle fastened on there. I just stuck a piece of wire through it and tied it on there. And I right there lets you be ready to go. It's the easiest bait that I know how to get anyway. Here we go, guys. We're down again right here. We got him this time. Got him this time. Got him hooked up. Feels like a channel cat. Man, these jokers put up a fight on this little tackle. I think I'm gonna try to put the bogus on this guy. Oh. No second thought. I'm feeling too, feeling too old to be leaning over today. So I'm gonna grab the net. There she is. Come on, lady. Come on in there. Come on in. Oh, oh. She liked the got back out. A little hook got her right in the top of the lip there. See, can we pop her loose? It's got her too, man. There we go. Yep, little girl fish. See how her, her mouth is not as wide as her eyes. A male, his eye, his mouth will be about, about that even with his eyes, not quite. Pretty fish though. Gave me a little present. We thank you, ma'am. We don't thank you for the present, but we thank you for coming aboard. Yeah, that's two floats with the medium menace, two two bites, fishing it on a float there. Yeah, we're just taking that rig, that little small number one hook. We're hooking this guy up under the chin and out in front of the eyes. Like I say, we got, I'm not sure what size weight that is. I know it's bigger than a five. It's probably down in the three range. And we fishing about, I'd say three foot deep, but we only sitting in six foot of water. So I'm just gonna throw this guy back up here beside this pier. And we're getting our bites kind of right out over on this side of this flat right here. We're just gonna set it right there. I'm gonna set it right here where it's easy to get to. Here we go, fellas. Oh yeah, we hooked up with something. Yeah, I'm trying to spool a rod. This sucker leaves out, Jack. Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, this thing's about better than about there in this camera here. We're gonna try to get this guy up here and what we got. Feels like a channel. I feel it rolling good. Pretty nice sound kit. Not a giant, but a little above average for this lake. Oh. Yeah, I was spooling up another one of these rods. I'm gonna get this fish out of this line. Yeah, guys, when y'all get done with this stuff right here, man, I done got birds out of this lake right here wrapped up in this. It'll tear your broke props up. It'll cut the seals on the lower unit on your outboard and on your, on your uh, trolling motor. It's just not any good for anything. So take it and carry it with you, man. I mean, it's um, it's easy enough just to cut it off. Pull you some line out and wrap it up good and tight. And put it in your pocket. And when I get ready to throw it, actually throw it in the trash, I'll either take a, a grill lighter and melt it down or hit it with a, a butane lighter and melt it so it... When they put it in the landfill, it can't get on anything there either. Look out, dude. It's like they're trying to make me bleed now. He's trying to make me bleed. Yeah, I'll see how this is, fish's mouth is about wide as his eyes. And he's got black lips, big humps on his back of his head right there. He's getting ready to spawn here. All right, we're gonna send this guy back over in there. We thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Yeah, when you see them lips get black like that, those fish are starting to look for somewhere to spawn. We sitting on a super flat point right here, going up in the back of a creek. The main lake's just right there. We just sitting on a flat point right here. We, we anchored in six and a half feet of water and we just kind of fan cast it out through here. We was catching them on float to start with. Now we got a bite on a down rod. Uh, that was on a piece of cut bluegill for lay part. It's getting better and better. We're gonna figure it out before the day's over with. Then tomorrow to be something different. Ain't that how it goes? Here we go, guys. Oh yeah, this dude's leaving out, man. I'm checking on that catfish I got in the box up there. I turn around, this sucker here is gone, man. Uh-oh, this guy's headed for a towel line. He gonna go out the other side. I'm gonna wet him too. Well, now he's decided he's gonna come back this way. He don't know what he's gonna do. All right, he's gonna go out the other side and we're gonna let him do that. Uh-oh. We got him in this talon, I believe. We got him around here. Yeah, he started out fighting like a channel cat, but he done quit rolling now. It's possible this is a flathead. Possible this is a flatty. He's doing that down and deep dive right there. No, 
Nope, that's gonna be a nice channel cat is what it's gonna be. That sucker's full of itself, man. Full of itself. Get a little net action on him. We get him to come back up here. Man, I love them good aggressive bites like that. I sucker grabbed it and took off. It didn't sit there about two minutes. I threw it on the corner of a dock over there and it didn't take him but a minute to see that way he wandered or not. That's a nice channel cat, man. Where I like, that's a pretty good sized fish. You'll catch a bunch of two and three pounders, but when you get them up over five into 10 or so, they some nicer ones. All right, guys, we hooked up right here. Let's see what we got. It would be a spotted bass. That sucker is good for nothing. All he did was ate my mana. <laughs> Here we go, fella. We're getting hit right here. There we are. Let's see, can I get my money back to box? Ah, ah, that sucker come off, man. I was trying to put that money back in the box, and he come off. Well, guys, that's gonna do us here today from Lake Greenwood on Whisker Pig Fishing. We had a pretty good day, man. Caught some nice fish, lost a few. Missed a few, but all in all, it's a really good day, man. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today on Whisker Pig Fishing. Check us out on Instagram and on Facebook at Whisker Pig Fishing. And as always, you have a great day and God bless.